Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and I'm wondering if you guys have ever had attachments on your vacuum cleaner that you wondered what on earth they were for. Now before you go to start telling me, I do know what this is for. It's for getting into little crevices. But when I see things that are oddly shaped, I always wonder, can I pour? And... Uh, <laughs> So when I started looking at these um, these coasters, these are coasters I got from Kmart. If you're um, in New Zealand and you're looking for coasters, these were just plain MDF, which I have gessoed, and they have already got the um, corking on the back. So they were just very boring looking things, but they were two for six dollars, uh, six for two dollars. So that's to me saying, paint on me, paint on me. <laughs> so when I started looking at these and asking what they wanted, and they said spiral pour, and I'm like, how am I going to do a spiral pour on incy wincy tiny little things like this? This popped out of my box at me, and so what I've got over here is I've got all the colours that I used on my plant pot, which is drying nicely. Um, and so I thought, well, if I'm going to have the plant pot in the house, I may as well have some coasters to go with it. So these are coasters for me, as long as I love them. If I don't love them, they can go in the bin. Um, <laughs> So let us get started. First of all, um, what I would like to do is just let you know that um, I've never done a pour this small before. Uh, like not a deliberate one. Like I've poured the leftovers out of a pot um, onto a bit of cardboard or something, but not done something this small. Like literally... They are small, okay? So this is what this is all about. What I'm going to do, I'll bring you over here to my pots, um, is I'm just going to do a multi-layered thing in here. And then I'm going to take my finger off and let some paint pour on, cover it up, move to the next one, pour on, pour on, pour on, blood, etc. And then I will tilt them around. That's what I'm going to have a go at. I haven't done it before. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of the pur burgundy. Um, I do have silicon in all my colours, except for... Um, except for the gold. So... I'm just going to put little bits of some of these colours because I don't want a lot of them. No, that's not much at all. I want it mostly burgundy and gold. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do burgundy and gold and then a little bit of the blue and green. So, whoop, that's pretty cool. And that gold is not sinking. <laughs> gold, sink. Go on, can you go? All the way to the bottom. By pouring it from up high, it mixes a lot better. Right, I've got a lot of paint there. It's quite full. Let's see how far that goes. Let's bring you back over so you can see. All right, are we ready for this? I'm not sure I am. Okay, here we go. Can I have some color, please? It's all burgundy. Uh oh. Got some of the burgundy on this one. It's 
put some of the burgundy on that one. It's all burgundy, guys. It's all coming out burgundy. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? I did put a lot of burgundy in there. Oh no, we're starting to get some colour coming in now. But not much. This was not the plan. Okay. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? I might end up with this with burgundy coasters. Come on. This is really interesting guys, so not what I had anticipated. Oh look, there's a bit of gold I think, like one drip. Ha! Huh. This one's got the most colour in it so far. It's got blue. I am getting some cells though. That's interesting. About two thirds of the way down our pot. I wonder what this is going to come out like. This is interesting. I'm intrigued. A little bit more on this one. Try and put a similar amount of paint on each one. It's coming through very slowly, but it is coming through. Oh, we're starting to get a bit more colour now. Awesome. Well, it's taking longer to come through this hole than I thought it would. It's definitely a very slow pour. Let's put a bit more colour in this one now. We've got some colour coming through. What is this going to look like? I'm intrigued. The paint is now down to the funnel side part. So we are getting to the bottom. Oh yeah, I 
pressed down to... <laughs> it's like all the burgundy went to the bottom and all the colour stayed on the top. Nearly there. Now because I don't have the bottoms covered, I'm going to be really careful with picking them up. And with tilting them bit of green coming through now that haven't been seen before All right, that's it. I've had enough of doing that. <laughs> bored, Mum. I'm bored. So let's just give these a little bit of a torch and bring any silicon cells to the top, hopefully, so they can then spread round and go big, yummy cells. Uh oh, I think I've just run out of gas. All right. Grateful. Awesome. All right, now let's tilt. I don't seem to be very talkative today. It's interesting, isn't it? So I'll just bring this up so you guys can see. So I'm definitely seeing some gold glinting. And from the sense of this, uh oh, there's some silicon. Oh, I hate it when that happens. See over here, I've got silicon straight onto my gesso. Oh, but this is pretty. Okay, I'm just going to get a tissue and absorb some of that silicon up so that it doesn't leave a gaping white hole. Now one of the things I've found, and just this is a bit of a hint, um, is get just buy budget tissues <laughs> if you're going to have them for painting the ones without any special aloe vera or anything to help your nose or whatever 
because you don't want any extra additives appearing in your paint. Um, come on. There it is. So I'm trying not to let it run over the sides as I'm turning it, but I am getting a little bit on my finger and just rubbing it around the side so that the side gets that little bit of colour. Oh, these are pretty, pretty awesome. Well, this one is anyway. I hope the others turn out as awesome as this one. What do you reckon? I like that. That's cool. All right. I think I will probably speed these up <laughs> so that you guys don't have to listen to me. See that lump? Just there. I need to get that out. But those have turned out far better than I thought that they were going to when we were pouring. So that is exciting. So, what's my secret trick for getting lumps out? Two push pins. And you use them on either side of the lump. And try and pick it up. Did I get it? Is it gone? Or is it still there? Or was it just a bubble that I've popped? What do we know? No, there's no lump left in there, which is good. All right, so the next step to this is leaving them to dry. I'm just going to give them one more going over with the torch. Just check my edges. Now, come back over here because I need to get in there. These are cool. I really like them. Boop, boop, boop. 
Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with that. Um, let me get you down and give you one more close up of each of them and then we will leave them to dry. Okay. I really like how they kind of look like tree paws, but they've also got their own little yumminess about them. Every single one of them is individual. But because they all came out of the same pot, <laughs> they are all same toning. Same blending. Some of them are a little bit more intense because they've got a bit more of that blue in there. Some have got more green, some have got more gold. But all of them are beautiful. Look at that one's even got some cells over there. Hee <laughs> hee. Awesome. So let's leave those two to dry and I'll be back to show you how they've dried. Hello and back again, yay! <laughs> so, I love these, I think they are stunning. Um, wowzer, 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 they have dried beautifully there's more blue and green in these than there is in the pot, but that's okay. They're not going to be sitting next to each other. You can tell that they were done by the same artist. You can tell that they were done with the same colours. And they don't have to be identical. That's the cool thing about art. Yay! So I really, really like these. I'm looking forward to resining them. And oops, having them in my home. And I went to Kmart again today and got another set because you know what? They're fun. Now, this one has got some interesting thing happen. Let's see if I can capture it. Look, see that ring of bubbles? I have no idea what that is. I don't know whether I got too close with the um, with the heat and cooked the paint. Um, there's two dots of white there that kind of stand out a bit. All the others, once they're resined, you'll never see it. So I might just just touch, maybe with a little bit of the blue, just to make it not so harshly white um, but there we go I love them love them love them love them how does it get any better than that so sweet ones I adore you I am looking forward to playing with you some more on the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group and sometime in the next few days there will be an email going out to my email list and you can sign up for that on mickeyart.com forward slash sign up to let you know when I am going live. Um, if you would like to have some input into the time zone, <laughs> let me know in the comments and how much fun can we have together live talk to you really soon have fun bye bye